Right, I mean, he had a, a pretty sweet goal there uh, yeah. earlier in the game. I hear you want to take us through this, another look of Leon Dreisaitl. Really? What goal? No, maybe not. Oh, I do. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, this yeah. little guy right oh, here. Oh, your little friend. Who's Wait, this guy? Say uh, what? Yeah, we're talking just the power play goal. It's more Connor, but we're going to hold it here. So what any great power play wants to do is establish the middle and then attack with speed. So... Connor is going to pass this puck up to Bouchard, and as a D-man, you want to walk the line and then draw this guy, and I'm going to do a ton of circles. It's going to be a lot of drawing. You want to draw him as close to you as possible. Let's roll it forward, and then right when he makes the pass, we're going to stop it. Now, the job of this F1 attacker is always to trap down, so he wants to control the what I'm going to say here for everybody back at home is he oh, get the freehand. He wants to control this side of the ice. He doesn't want to let Connor cross the line there. Cross that line, it, because what that does is it then allows this D man to close in pressure because otherwise he has to also block the shot and watch just make sure. So what happens? Connor gets to the middle. It influences everybody. Opens up the seam. For Leon Drysaddle, we're going to see this a few other ways, um, but it's just important for flank attackers to know, and the flank is where Connor is. Is you need to always recognize where this guy is. Oh, that's two circles. You need to recognize where this guy is and get under Dakota Joshua and get under the check. So roll it forward, and what we're going to see is him getting underneath Joshua here, and it's so important because once he does, he pulls Cole out of his position completely throws off their PK because their PK wants to stay in a set structure and we'll see it one more time from up here because I'm just going to show everybody this is all Joshua's lane is to go like this he plays here Pedersen is supposed to stay middle ice and watch this guy Nugent Hopkins and then Ian Cole is supposed to manage this side of the ice so what happens is we'll roll it forward once Connor gets over and we'll pause it once he cuts through right now what happens is now Cole has to think this is my guy because Joshua doesn't close off the lane so Joshua doesn't close off this lane he allows Connor to get through now Ian Cole has to chase and now for my beautiful friend next to me you leave a stretchy grid open which is yeah. where Leon which is where <laughs> Leon thrives and it just, you also pull Shilovs out of the net because now he has to worry about sliding across. We'll roll this through one more time. Um, you don't need to put a pause. We can just let it roll completely. Uh, and you just watch Shilov. Shilovs now has to track it. He has to move wider and further away from Leon, which is probably the guy that they've scouted as to be the danger, most dangerous asset. But when you have Connor, and I know most players can't play the way Connor plays, but it's important that these power plays that are struggling as if you're the flank guy, get underneath the check, yeah. get past that first guy, and just disrupt their structure. Uh, really well done. One little thing, too. Can we get that overhead at the, yes. the last clip we had? Um, it's, it's, uh, are we able to put it back here? That'd be amazing if we could. If not, it's all good. But uh, So if we get that overhead, the, the one thing I want to point out, and I think about this because it's the Edmonton Oilers, okay? And, oh, yes, I love you guys. You guys are the best. All right, so the Edmonton Oilers, I grew up a big Wayne guy. Pause it here. Bring it back a little bit, please. Uh, bring it back. Go a little further, or is this the beginning? Or keep going, keep going. All right. As soon as we come that's, on, just that's stop. Far. That's too, too that's far. That's too far. Too far. Bring it right where the clip starts. Let's stop it there. And I just want to say this. The Edmonton Oilers, it got me thinking while you're talking about that. Great breakdown, by the way. But it, as soon as we start the here clip, we can get a pause there. Wayne Gretzky. I, I, I was I loved it right like Wayne when I was a kid I used to always watch the above and above and beyond video time and time again and he said the whole game of hockey is about two on ones it's about two on one and guys all over the ice right and that that's the name of the game well leave it for not number 99 but this case number 97 how you make this a two on one so this is what I want to show here he's going to move this puck like JD said up to Evan Bouchard watch how it, watch keep going slowly through this how he makes this a two on one so roll it forward so he's going to come oh. up, stay close to this guy right off his hip. Pause it here. That's a two on one. Okay. That's a two on one. You're going to win that. You complete that pass. You beat him. Okay. Two on one. Now roll it forward slowly from here. Connor's going to get it. Now he's going to walk to the middle of the ice. Pause it right here. Bring everybody to me. Where's the other two on one? Right there at the you net. You need to say it. I'm already there. What's that? I'm already there. You're already there. there. You're already there. 
Well, there's that two on one, but JD, there's this one down here too. Connor knows if I just get it down there, I've got Leon Dreisaitl, Zach Hyman in net front with one defenseman. Like that, that's the that? thing. Those greats, yes, those greats, they manipulate. They find ways. Connor knows. If I just come off the hip here, I'm drawing everybody. Everybody's reacting to me. I'm the best player in the world. I'm going to go into the middle of the ice, and guess what? You're going to pay attention to me. Mm -hmm. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to find the next two-on-one. Rupper, and just for your point, look at that triangle offense that they run and, and this power play, how well they do it. Look at in the middle of that triangle. There's only one attacker. So they own all of that ice down there. Look at all. They own yeah. all this. Another stretchy grid. They own all this ice here. And that's just that's just what Trouble. he does. Because he gets three people chasing him, right? Yeah. I mean yeah. it's three people chasing him. You talk about triangle. manipulation, man. This guy, he could do it. Yeah. It, great execution. Yeah. And that power play is just so potent. But I wanted to show for people at home just flank. We saw the Carolina power play struggling and it's very stagnant. They pass it up to Bernsey or D'Angelo or Brady Shea. And Aho, who's typically the guy there on the flank, he just doesn't move to the puck. He stays away. He stays. His feet don't move. Instead of getting up, and you made a great point, staying off that guy's hip, that first four checkers hip, the first uh, peak air, so that once you get the puck, you can get underneath and then create those two-on-ones. Yeah. Your point, just getting to those little spots.